Hey guys, back again with another video to help you out. This time taking the radio head unit out of this 2011 Honda Fit and we'll get right into it. The first thing you want to do is move your shifter down into a lower gear, either using the shift release or the key. And this is in the boneyard, that's why it's so dirty. Anyway, uh, then you'll want to remove the panels underneath the radio and the air, the air conditioning controls the lower panel with your cigarette lighter or power outlet is just held in with clips down on the very bottom and then remove your clip off the bottom of the power outlet the panel above it same thing the top hooks in underneath the bottom two just have clips move that out of the way uh, I removed the panel from around the dash from around the stereo I mean the speedometer just because I didn't want to break it and then I removed the glove box or at least moved it down uh, released the tabs on the side just push in on them and then drop the glove box down but with these panels removed from the bottom I used an auxiliary light here to find the one Phillips head screw that I missed and it's basically right there in the middle of the screen. You'll see that little oval, that circle. It's right below it. And I had to use both hands to do this. But if you come in through the bottom of your opening here that you've now created by removing those panels, you will find your Phillips head screw. Right in there. I've already removed it, so you're not gonna see it. But that's how you access that one screw. If you don't take that out, you'll never get the stereo out. And you'll also have a screw up here on the side of the unit itself that mounts into this bracket on the dash. It's right there. I took out two screws. I don't know if I was supposed to. Maybe up here. but I couldn't see what I was doing at the time. So I took screws out. Maybe not necessarily, but I'm rambling. Anyway, take those screws out. Those prevent you from taking the radio out. And then once those are out, you can just use a panel removal tool. I would highly suggest one in order to keep from marring your dash if you plan on reusing this. And prying out along the bottom of this and it will bring the unit out to you. Um, and then from the back side, You'll have you'll have your wiring harness back here to release and then you'll pop your wiring harness out and then press it on these little triggers on these to remove them. You have a trigger on the bottom on this side. And then the trigger is on the bottom on that one as well. Once all those are released, you also have to release the plug on the side. This is why a lot of people take these to radio guys to handle. And then once all the plugs are unplugged, there you have it. Comes out, your heater vents come out with it. Again, that's why it's good to have a panel removal tool. You don't want to break those. And there's all your plugs. And then if you need to access your heater controls to remove those for whatever reason, there's a screw here 
and the rest of these are clipped around the outside edge of this. But anyway, that's how to remove the radio out of a 2011 Honda Fit. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. See ya.